How come when babies are starting to walk, they never decide like it's too hard and they just give up? Have you ever wondered that? The amount of times you see a baby fall when they're starting to walk, how come they never just decide to say, ah, oh, forget it, this is too much? It's something fascinating to look at. If you have a newborn baby in the house, well, not a newborn, but if you have a baby that's beginning to go through those stages of learning how to walk, you should pay close attention to that. It's because as a baby, they don't have all the constructs in their minds that we've accumulated as we got older to limit us. They don't have that. They're more like a clean slate, right? They don't identify with what they think they can do from what they know they can do. Just being is reason enough to drive them to get up when they fall down, to continuously try new things and experiment new things and to grow. Because only as you get older, you start to get these restrictions put on you from how you're supposed to act to your moral to how you're supposed to think, what you're capable of, what you're not capable of. It's only as you get older, these things start to stick to you. Because if you look at a baby as just a baby, they don't have any of these ideas, these projections stuck to them. This is something they accumulate as they get older from the external world. When they fall down trying to walk, there's nothing in their head telling them that they can't do it. There's no idea of a baby that tried to walk and he wasn't successful. So they take that and make it relative to their self. And that's the reason why they quit or they give up. They don't associate themselves with constructs and thoughts of, of them being unable to achieve something. So they just get up casually. They just get up and they try again. Sometimes they get tired and they they don't bother, they crawl a bit, and then they just get up and they try again. That's perseverance, right? In its truest form. You see, the limitations you have is what your mind projects. You limit yourself with what you tell yourself in your head. It's simple. Whatever you tell yourself in your head is gonna come to fruition. So if you think you're not smart enough, you think you're not strong enough, right? Those things are gonna come to fruition. They're gonna come to pass. You're telling yourself that in your head. Babies are interesting. You look at them and there's legitimately a blank slate there. A new fresh start right there. So a baby for him, walking and going to Harvard University or some prominent school, to him there's no difference. It's only the thoughts that, that he starts to identify himself with later in life is what restricts him feeling like he can achieve greatness because from being a baby a newborn to being able to crawl to being able to walk to being able to eat for yourself all these things are great there's no difference between it all these things are accomplishments of the greatest kind but it's what you tell yourself the ideas you identify with the morals you identify with your limitations it's all these projections you put onto yourself that hinder you from greatness so when I'm exercising I like to keep a clean slate anything I try to accomplish I keep a clean slate even when I'm making these videos I keep a clean slate of mind I don't have any expectations on myself I don't project any ideas any thoughts I just try to articulate myself in the flow like method to convey my message for me to you and this is what I do with every aspect of my life when I'm working out it's the same thing I don't allow limited thoughts into my mind to cause me to second guess my capabilities because I'm capable of anything because you're capable of anything just like anybody before you was capable of anything and anybody after you will be capable of anything just here in this moment demonstrates our capabilities just through existence alone and this is what keeping a blank mind frame without the projections of thoughts and limiting ideas and beliefs this is where i exercise from this is where you achieve greatness from whenever i'm exercising i take my mind to a space where it's one step at a time with my awareness I keep it in the moment from step to step that way I gauge the thoughts and ideas that come into my mind that way I can reject any limited thoughts any limited ideas and I'm not projecting anything in the future I'm not thinking about anything in the past I'm just thinking about the direct moment 
from moment to moment throughout my exercise. This is the mind frame I want for you. This is how you would treat greatness. You have to get caught up and lost in it. You have to get engulfed in it. You have to fall into it, be absorbed into it. You have to see no other. There's a thin line between greatness and being selfless. When I say selfless, I mean legit out of body self lost in the universe. Seeing that in your tasks, seeing that in your art, seeing that in your music, your workouts. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about where you get into that space where an hour feels like a minute and you look up and you have a masterpiece in front of you of work or whatever you're trying to achieve or you had a killer workout. There's times where I go in the gym and I'm there all day, all day I'm there. And it feels like it went by like that. That's what I'm talking about when I say selflessness. I mean, you're outside of self, meaning all the ideas, constructs, all the thoughts that you identify with on a day-to-day -day basis, you step out of that, okay? That's the self. You step out of that into a selflessness space where you're only absorbed into the task at hand. So if you're doing a killer workout, from moment to moment, your awareness is on that workout. You get absorbed into that workout. So you get lost in time and space. Everything kind of just flows. That's what I'm talking about. That's the selfless space I'm talking about that coincides with greatness. That's where babies learn to walk from. Them just being here. When you look at a baby and they're looking up at you, you can see the amazement and you can see the wonder. That's what you see. You don't see ideas until months down the road. You don't see thoughts heavily weighing the baby's decisions when it comes to doing certain things. That comes later down the road. You just see them looking up like everything's fantastic. That's what we need to go back to. We need to understand these thoughts that we've identified ourselves with, these morals, these limiting beliefs, our ideologies, political parties, all these things that we identify ourselves with, meaning that we think this is us, we have to move from that and start identifying with our true self, our inner self of just being, because it's spectacular. And when you do that, you start to realize there's nothing you can achieve. If Michael Jordan did it, you can do it. There's nothing you can achieve. If Barack Obama did it, you can do it because there's nothing you can achieve. If Wayne Gretzky did it, you can do it because there's nothing you can achieve. If Einstein did it, you can do it. If Mike Tyson did it, you can do it. Only thing limiting you is what you're telling yourself in your head. That's it. It's a funny thing about Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was the youngest heavyweight champion of the world. And to be a heavyweight at that time, people thought you had to be a bigger set guy. Meaning six, seven, six, eight, big guys, 290, 280. But Mike Tyson was a smaller heavyweight that was knocking out these big guys because he didn't have those limiting beliefs that he couldn't conquer mountains. His coach, his mentor taught him at a young age that that was not a handicap. He can use that as an advantage to be as great as he was. And that's what he did. When you tell yourself something in your head long enough, you start to believe it. Sometimes it doesn't even have to be long. People have this tendency to absorb these ideas of who they should be, who they should be, what they could accomplish, what they can accomplish because of these setbacks or their demographic or because of their color or because how they were raised because of their rough upbringings. People have this tendency to, to have those things limit them. But that's perspective. That's what you're telling yourself in your head. You've got to control your voice in your head. And the best way to do that is through meditation, practicing self-awareness or exercise, which is what I want for you guys. You have the potential to do anything you want to do. You want to sculpt your dream body? You can. Apply yourself. You got to get lost in the process. Be selfless in the process. That's where the mind and muscle connection comes from. It's about being one with the movement. Whatever the movement is, you're engulfed in it. You're feeling every tug off of every muscle fiber, every ripple, and you're engaging it. You're contracting it. You're not just going through the movements. That's the difference between good bodybuilding and great bodybuilding. It's an awareness. It's a selflessness. You got to disassociate yourself with your thoughts and these constructs be selfless be selfless in the moments that you want to be great in 
and there is no failure there is no loss there is no pain that's the space you need to be in to achieve greatness that's the fighting state you ever heard somebody say i just got in a fight and everything was moving in slow motion there's a state of selflessness that you can go into where everything slows down that's where you practice to be great from that's where you dwell in your passion that's where you give your love that's where you self-identify right there in that space not the thoughts in your head that moment to moment space fall in love with that that should be your goal with regards to your exercise and your workout don't think about oh i gotta get up and work out today man this is gonna be so hard oh i gotta drag my butt to the gym don't think about your reps don't think about oh this is gonna be so exhausting no those are all thoughts those are all thoughts and they're negative to be exact stop thinking disassociate yourself with those thoughts and just do it get into doing it get lost in doing it fall in love with that and that's where greatness will sprout from that's where you should love from and that's where you should fight from are you fighting today <laughs>